Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. Today is November 26th, and that means day 330 of the 3DP 365 project. And on today's episode, after quite a few little fails, and finally figuring out what the problem was, I finally got that super popular Mars Bar Scuttle to finally print. And it really turned out awesome. And I did break off a couple of guns because I'm a big clumsy oaf. But the rest of the print turned out really, really cool. And we're going to talk about it next, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here for day 330 of the 3DP 365 project. After having quite a few fails trying to print this really cool model, I finally figured out what the issue was, and I did manage to get a good print. Now I did have a couple of little problems after the print, and that was me being clumsy and breaking off yet a couple of little guns, but they broke off in a clean area. And you can see right there, it's at the, the joint actually where it tapers off and becomes more of the barrel of the gun. So I'll be able to easily super glue those back on. It's not a problem. The rest of the print turned out amazing. This is such a cool model. I'm so happy it printed. It did take 16 hours to print and it was well worth it. We used Matter Hacker Standard Series Filament in that dark green color, which is one of my new favorite colors. And the print itself, it turned out awesome. I did use some support material because as you guys know, I'm sure you guys have either printed this or seen it printed. It prints flat on the board like this with the wings, kind of like that. So this area here, this particular part of the wing, is a super steep incline. And I would definitely suggest using support. And I did. And the problem I was having was, is when it was printing, the um, start position of the extruder was actually on the corner of it, on this edge, the leading edge here of this angle, of this incline. And what that was doing, it was adding a little bit more plastic and a little bit more heat, and that was causing the curling. So all I had to do is move my seam location over to the other end, which was this edge here, and it finally started printing out and I wasn't having any curling issues. Now, as you can see, it's not perfectly smooth, but that's pretty good for being built completely on a support material type system. Now, the whole model isn't built on support material, just this edge, which really requires it, because like I said, that's a pretty steep angle right there. And Simplify, Simplify 3D generated the support automatically. I didn't put in custom support. I just hit the generate support material. And it put out a really good piece of support material. It actually made a really nice cradle for all of that to print in. And as you can see, there's a nice little channel in there for the part to lay in. So when it came to pulling it off the print bed, this just fell away clean. And in my opinion, this is one of the cleaner edges I've seen on an angle of this steepness on any model that I've ever printed. And the rest of the print, like I said, it turned out awesome. I am very happy with the results. We downloaded this model from Thingiverse, and once we had it downloaded, we sent it over to Simplify 3D for slicing. In Simplify 3D, I used the smaller model for smaller build plates model, and I did scale it down to 45% only because of print time. Now, trust me, I did want to print this thing out big because I have a GMAX 1.5 XT Plus, and it is a huge build area but we're talking like an 80 hour print to really get the size I wanted. So 45% scale ended up being the scale I wanted to use. We did do a 0.2 millimeter layer height with four top layers, three bottom layers, and three perimeters. And I did use 10% infill on the print. And we did print this out at only 35 millimeters per second. And that's why it took 16 hours to print. And there was a good reason for it because of this steep angle and all that support material being built and all the detail, plus the little gun barrels. Now, like I said, I did break off two of the gun barrels and I have them set aside and I am going to glue them on. But there's also a really cool stand included too. And I just finished printing that. This is a quick, just 90 minute print, depending on your print speed and layer height. This was 0.2 millimeter layer height at 40 millimeters per second. And I printed this in Matter Hacker Standard Series Black. And it really fits in here perfectly and I can't really show you here, but I plan on super gluing this to the bottom of it, making this a display model so you can't really mess with it. And that'll make sure that the gun barrels don't get broken off again because it'll be on the shelf just for display. So it's really cool that a stand was included too. And I am really happy with the print. There really was no real problems. I did have one corner peel up. So you might see it in the close-ups. I think it was this wing here. So there's a slight ripple there. And I don't know if I get, see you guys can see that or not. But right there, there's a bit of a ripple. And that happened when the corner peeled up, even though I did use a brim at 12 outlines. It wasn't enough. 
So I, I'm still happy with the print. I think it turned out awesome. The wings turn perfectly. They fold up really nice for the flight position or actually for the landing position. And then of course in the flight position, they fold down really easily. And it's a print in place hinge too. So that was really cool and that turned out perfect. So I am really happy with the results. This is a very cool Mars Bars Scuttle model. And I really love this thing. And I definitely want a GMAX size that is at some point. So you might see this next year being printed out at maximum size on my GMAX 1.5 XT Plus. But for now, I am super happy with the print and it is really cool. Well, that about wraps it up for day 330 of the 3DP 365 project. I hope you guys found this episode interesting and informative. And of course, if you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out those affiliate links down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.